Hello, my name is Jim Olson, and this is an introductory video for the website for Math 407. This is a number theory course I'm teaching at Western Illinois University, and I want to show you how to use Western Online. Here I am at the course home, and I'm going to just work across the menu here. I've simplified this and taken away a lot of the features that we're not going to be using in our course. The first one is the content and you can view the content two ways. You can view it right here on the home screen with the content browser and we are in week zero. So if I click this, we can see here that we have three things. The instructor notes, the syllabus and how to interact and engage. You can also go to the content up here, and this brings up the content. And as the course is being built, we'll see week one, week two, and so on on this left-hand side. And here we are at week zero, and here are our three documents again. It's very important that we have consistency. If for some reason you see three documents one place and four documents another, something is a miss and you want to report that to me. So let's go ahead and take a look at the instructor notes. And these are here and these are my main notes for the week in one document. And you certainly want to read these. Oftentimes people like to print these out. At the bottom there's a print option and there's also a download option. And you can decide if you want to do downloading, printing, or both, and how you want to organize that, either on your hard drive or in your three-ring binder. So I'm going to come back to Course Home. And again, we can look here at the content here on the front. And I'm going to let you look at the syllabus. And in a similar way, you probably want to print and or download that and the third document as well. How we're going to be interacting and engaging in the online course. One of the things I'd like to emphasize here is we use a lot of traditional methods. We're still going to be doing paper and pencil calculations. We're still going to be showing our algebra steps like we always have for decades. And this should be your model. When you're viewing the videos, you should have a piece of paper out and you should be taking notes. Um, the advantage is that you can pause the video and rewind. And we have the advantages of an online class. You don't have to come to the campus. You don't have to find parking. You can work on the course um, whenever you want to at four o'clock in the afternoon, eight o'clock at night, uh, 1030 at night if you want to. Okay, the next thing we want to look at here are the assignments. And we do have a week zero assignment. Uh, the attachments are here and I've provided a doc form and a PDF form, those are equivalent. Uh, it is important to look here because there might be some instructions here. And there are, in fact, some instructions here. One thing I will tell you, it might be that the folder information has been hidden here. And you want to pay attention to these little triangles here in Western Online. And you might have to click this to show the folder information and then you're going to download the document here and you can save that to your hard drive and however you organize your files depending on the browser browser that you're you're working with in this case I'm using Firefox at the moment and I can take a look at my files here and here's the, the, the week zero homework. Okay, so we've shown the content, we've shown the assignments. Now let's take a look at the discussions. Each week we'll have a discussion area. In week zero, we're just getting oriented to the course. And the course 
questions and comments area may be used throughout the course. We have three topics here, questions about assignments, questions about Western Online, and questions about the internet and computers. In week zero here, we have the meet the class members area. And I might just demonstrate how you would do a posting here. So I'm gonna click the meet the class members. And I'm gonna start a new thread. And we need a subject line. So you would type that here. And when you have your subject line, you put your content down here. And you're going to tell some information, maybe where you're teaching, if you're one of our graduate students that's teaching, maybe your hometown, uh, the name of your dog, just a little bit of information, because we're, we want to get to know each other. And as the teacher, I want to get to know you. After you have your information typed in here, you'll hit post. I'm going to cancel this now. The next thing is the communication. Uh, this is just another way to get to the discussions. The chat area we may not use too much, but I'm leaving it there in case I do want to do that. You're going to view your grades here, and your grades are in three categories, curating exams and homework. Um, actually, um, I think no, I take that back. There are four categories. There's also an other category, and this is, should be consistent with the syllabus. Here are our resources. You can look at our textbook here, uh, some links, and the library. And that's pretty much it. I have stripped away many of the possible features of Western Online to keep this more simple for you. The last thing I'd like to talk about is the assignments and uploading files and scanning files. So if we go to the week zero homework here, we have the directions and we have the attachments that I'm providing you. And right here is where you're going to be submitting your files and you're going to be adding a file. In many cases, this is going to be scan document because you're going to print out the questions and you're going to work those out with a pencil. And you need to have a way to scan them. <clears throat> Scanning is easy once you know how, but like all technology, it's something you need to learn. The cam scanner is what I use. And I use my iPad for this. Um, you can also do it with a phone. And the CAM scanner does allow you to have a multi-page document. So it might be that you have three pages of your homework and these are gonna all be scanned into one document. And then once you get them saved, you will be uploading. You do not need to use the CAM scanner. You can use whatever app that you prefer to use on your phone or on your iPad or other device. There are many options here. You want to find something that can, that's convenient to you, for you. My name is Jim Olson, and this has been an introduction to Western Online. If you have any questions, please use the communication tools that I discuss in week zero, which includes giving me a call. Have a great day. I look forward to working with you. Bye-bye.